In this presentation, we're going to be taking a look at the radiographic positioning of the temporomandibular joints. The essential projections for the TMJs include the AP axial or modified Towns view, the axiolateral oblique or modified law, and the axiolateral view or Schuler. For the AP axial modified Town TMJs, the patient can be supine or seated upright with the posterior skull in contact with the upright bucky or the tabletop. Align the MSP of the head and the OML perpendicular to the IR plane. The CR should be angled 35 degrees caudal and centered midway between the TMJs, entering a point 3 inches above the nasion. The collimated field should be 8 by 10 inches crosswise. One exposure should be made with the mouth closed and another made with the mouth open, if not contraindicated. As you can see in this slide, the opening of the mouth in the image on the right displaces the condylar process inferiorly when it leaves the mandibular fossa. For the axiolateral TMJs or Schuler method, the patient can be positioned semi-prone or seated upright. One exposure is made with the mouth closed and, if possible, another with the mouth open. Start with the patient's head lateral to the image receptor. Center at a point one half inch anterior to the EAM and to the IR. In other words, the TMJ of interest. And rest the patient's cheek against the grid device. Angle the CR 25 to 30 degrees caudad and center so that the CR exits the TMJ side down. In general, we should be adjusting approximately one inch for every 10 degrees of tube angulation. Therefore, we're angling 25 degrees for this view. We should be able to center 2.5 inches above the upside TMJ. If we angle 30 degrees, we can center three inches above the upside TMJ. Collimate to a three by three inch field. The closed mouth view, as demonstrated on the left in this slide, should demonstrate the mandibular condyle residing within the mandibular fossa, while the open mouth view should portray the condyle slightly inferior and anterior to the mandibular fossa. For the axiolateral oblique TMJs, or modified law method, the patient can be positioned semi-prone or seated upright. One exposure made with the mouth closed, and if possible, another with the mouth open. Start with the patient's head in a lateral position with the interpupillary line perpendicular to the IR plane and the acanthiomedial line parallel with the transverse axis of the IR. Center at a point one half inch anterior to the EAM, or the TMJ side down. Then rotate the patient's head 15 degrees toward the IR and rest the patient's cheek against the grid device. The CR should be angled 15 degrees caudal and enter at a point approximately one and a half inches superior and one and a half inches posterior to the EAM side up while exiting the TMJ side down. Collimate to a three by three inch field size. The closed mouth view on the left should demonstrate the condyle lying within the mandibular fossa, while the open mouth view on the right should demonstrate the condyle lying inferior to the articular tubercle if normal.